Minneapolis, Minnesota-born band Mint Condition's original lineup consisted of lead singer and drummer Stokely Williams, lead guitarist Homer O'Dell, keyboardist Lawrence Waddell, keyboardist and saxophonist Jeffrey Allen, keyboardist and percussionist Kerry Lewis, and bass guitarist Ricky Kinchin. Stokely's father first discovered that his son had a talent for music when he overheard a young Stokely, just a toddler at the time, wailing on some old bongos in the house. While attending high school together in the early 80s, Stokely and Homer decided to form a group with four other friends, including Lawrence, called Mint Condition. One day, the singer of the group didn't show up for rehearsal. Stokely, reluctantly and after some encouragement from the other guys, then stepped in to the lead role. Over time, three of the members left the band, which made room for Jeffrey and Carrie to be brought in. Then Ricky, a native of Chicago, came over to fill in the last piece of the puzzle. The band would eventually be discovered by super production duo Jimmy Jam and Terry Lewis in 1989 during a performance at the downtown Minneapolis nightclub, First Avenue. Having recently launched their own label called Perspective through A&M Records, the timing couldn't have been more perfect for them to sign Mint Condition. And so they did. The band immediately got to work on their debut album titled Meant to be Mint, which was released in June 1991. Their first single called Are You Free did touch the Billboard R&B chart, but didn't garner any further attention beyond that. Their next single, however, would quite a lot of attention. Break in My Heart, Pretty Brown Eyes, written by Jeffrey, Lawrence, and Stokely, reached the top five on the R&B chart and made it into the top 10 on the Hot 100. It remains their biggest hit to date. The band then went on tour where they really got to see just how much their fans were loving what they were hearing. In their 2013 Unsung episode, Stokely touched on just how much of an amazing feat they pulled off, achieving such a big hit with Break in My Heart. Since there was so much competition on the R&B scene at the moment, such as Boys to Men and Jodeci. The album's third single, Forever in Your Eyes, also became a top 10 R&B hit. Two years later, they dropped their second album, From the Mint Factory. It included the number two R&B hit single, You Send Me Swingin'. Definition of a band, Mint Condition's third album, dropped in the fall of 1996. The first single called What Kind of Man Would I Be, a tender ballad written by Lawrence, about remaining faithful in a relationship became a number two R&B smash, lived on the charts for more than 40 weeks, and went gold. The question the song posed rubbed some men the wrong way, though. Stokely explained the reason why in a 2019 interview with The Hype magazine. It's the song that brothers hate to love, but it's real. This comes from real conversation and real talk. Just humans being humans. We ain't perfect. We got a lot of things that we do that get ourselves in hot water sometimes, and this is just one of those conversations that either one or all of us or none of us have been in at one time or another, and everybody goes through it. I think that's the thing that resonated with people. You Don't Have to Hurt No More, the second single from the album, also became a top 10 R&B hit. Following the success of the album, the band received two Soul Train Music Award nominations, including Best R&B or Soul Album by a group. Soon though, the realization of what the success they were experiencing with all of their slow jams meant for the bigger picture of their career was coming into view. The more they were being marketed as the go-to R&B balladeers, the less likely it would be for them to transfer that success over to the pop chart. Definition of a band would go on to reach gold status, thereby becoming their most successful album. While riding high off the success of the project, the opportunity to tour with R&B singer Tony Braxton presented itself, and Mint Condition decided to go for it. Carrie and Tony also went for it, as in becoming a couple. Also at this time, the band's label ended their relationship with A&M, and that meant it was time to shop around for a new home. The group eventually signed with Elektra Records and released their fourth full-length album, Life's Aquarium, in 1999. Even though the first single, If You Love Me, gave the band their sixth top five placement on the R&B chart, overall, the album did not do well. To date, it's the lowest-selling Mint Condition album released on a major label, as well as their last album as a sextet, after Carrie decided to leave the following year. As he stated in the band's 2013 Unsung episode, Carrie wanted to take his songwriting and production skills to another level. He just found it to be too difficult to focus on that craft while also being a full-time member of a band and being on the road so much. 
Initially, the other band members claimed to not be bothered by Carrie's departure, but by the time Carrie and Tony's wedding rolled around in April 2001, Stokely served as the only member in attendance. And if you're wondering, yes, they were all invited. Years later, the members would finally admit that Carrie's departure did leave a bad taste in their mouths. When he left, the rest of the members had to switch things up because when Carrie was in the group, he was one of the writers that gave them their signature sound. After a six year break, the group resurfaced as a quintet and released Live in the Luxury Brown in 2005. Three years later, the band would celebrate a small victory after the release of E-Life. It sparked the tracks Baby Boy, Baby Girl and Nothing Left to Say. The latter would become the band's first top 30 R&B single in almost a decade. In April 2011, Mint Condition released Seven. The album title refers to this being their seventh album in their 20 years of performing. The very next year, the group released their last studio album to date, titled Music at the Speed of Life. That summer, during a concert in Anaheim, California, Carrie Lewis joined his former bandmates on stage for the first time in over a decade. After two decades and eight studio albums together, Mint Condition was inducted into the Soul Music Hall of Fame in December 2012. In 2015, the band released their first ever Christmas album, titled Healing Season. It earned the group a Grammy nomination for Best R&B Album. Since then, nothing more has been heard from the band. Although no one has issued an official statement, it appears that their disappearance seems to be the result of an indefinite hiatus. Former member Carey reintroduced himself as a solo artist in 2016 with his debut single called Love. He's also gone on to create the brand 90s R&B Alumni, complete with merch available through its dedicated website, as well as various social media platforms to celebrate R&B's most cherished decade in music. For many years now, R&B lovers have been essentially begging for a solo album from Stokely Williams. As the lead singer of Mint Condition, he secured his spot as one of the elite vocalists of his generation. Since the group's debut, Stokely has flirted with the possibility of a solo project, but none had ever come to fruition. That all changed in the summer of 2017 when introducing Stokely dropped. As far as his feelings about going solo at this moment in his career, he told Billboard.com, It was just a natural progression. I didn't want to do the obvious early in my career. There were a million freaking solo artists out then, but not many bands. Mint Condition is something very special, and that needed to happen first. We've defied so many odds over the last 25 to 30 years. Now I want to dive into other areas of my life musically. In 2019, Rick announced that he had a solo album in the works titled Truth Behind Lies. He'd already paid for studio time and all of the costs involved with turning in a record, along with producing videos for the project but he needed help with the next step. So he asked fans to financially support the album to assist with radio and social media promotion through a GoFundMe campaign. Hopefully he will be able to make his dream happen soon since he did meet his $45,000 goal and it appears that the last donation came in over two years ago. In the fall of 2021, Stokely was back with his sophomore solo album, Sankofa, an African word from the Akan tribe in Ghana to express the importance of learning from the past. Even if an artist's hits topped the charts decades ago, thanks to social media, many of them get to enjoy a new wave of attention and popularity when their blast from the past songs go viral. Mint Condition experienced just that in early 2022, when the band's 1991 hit, Breaking My Heart, Pretty Brown Eyes, started racking up hundreds of thousands of clips and hundreds of millions of views on TikTok. The members should look forward to their bank accounts receiving some love as well. All the TikTok activity will translate to royalties via ASCAP, according to the band's manager. For now, it looks like the members of Mint Condition don't have any plans to put out another project together. In interviews, the few who are still currently in the music game have only said that everyone is focused on their family and pursuing their own solo endeavors.